Hello friends and welcome back to this series of astrophotography of Milky Way with the help of our smartphone. So in the previous video of this series we saw that how we can stack the multiple images of Milky Way that are captured with smartphone by using the sequester software. We saw that how we can stack the JPG as well as RAW frames that are captured with smartphone that how we can stack them by using the sequester software. So if you have not watched that video then I have given the link to watch that video in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. So now it is the time to see that how we can post process the stacked output to get the final output of the Milky Way image like this. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to discuss that how we can post process the stacked output by using the Lightroom application that is a smartphone and an Android application. Okay. So I'm going to use that and I will show you that how we can post process the stacked output step by step. So please watch the whole video up to end and don't skip any point so that you will get complete information regarding post processing. I will also share some tips regarding post processing. So please don't skip any point. But before beginning with the video, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel for more such updates on astronomy, astronomical events, astrophotography tutorials and other topics related to astronomy and science. If you are already a subscriber, then kindly hit the like and share button and please share this video as much as possible. So without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So friends, now you can see over here that I've opened the Lightroom application in my smartphone. And currently the image that you are seeing is the result of the stacked output of the raw files. So first we will see that how we have to post process this stacked output of raw files and then we will see the JPG image. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see, you can clearly see that the Milky Way is visible and uh, the Scorpius as well as Sagittarius constellation is visible. Let me check the brightness so that, okay, so the brightness is full, okay. But still you can see that the image is dark. So first we'll proceed with curves, then exposure, then highlights and contrast settings. Because the image is dark, so I will like to add some brightness and uh, lightness to it. So you have to click on this option you can see in the right side okay extreme right side that the options panel is there so you have to click on this option okay and then we have to click on the curves option so we have to select this white colored uh, curve okay please don't make any changes in reds greens and blues okay just use this portion to increase the lightness so you can just click on uh, this curve and then drag it such that the image becomes brighter. You can see over here that the image has gone brighter. This was the original and this is it after adding the curves. But still some portions are dark so I will make another point. Let's say I will keep this point like this and I will click on this point and then I will increase. Uh, let's sorry. Uh, I will just a second. Uh, okay. So I will click on this point and I will drag this point such that my image looks like this okay i want this much level of uh, likeness because i know that my image has lot of data okay see this may not work for every stacked image of their raw files okay depending upon the image you need to change the curves you can use a single point also but i like to use two points for my images so i have used two points if you are good to go with the one point then it is okay you don't need to use two points okay then I will increase uh, exposure a little bit. Let's say 0.10. I will increase the contrast. Okay. After that, you can see that the image is getting much good as compared to the original version. Okay. This was it. And you can see. I will increase the highlight so that the core of my Milky Way looks much better. Okay. Okay. So I'm increasing the highlights like this. You can zoom in and check that after increasing the highlights, the core is changing a little bit more. Then I will increase some shadows, let's say about 10, 13. Okay. Incre I will increase the white something little bit and then I will decrease the blacks. You can see over here that after decreasing the blacks, yes, our image is changing like this. You might be noticing that uh, in this side, uh, noise is there here, upper side and in the right side also but that can be cropped okay at the final we have to crop the image but initially we don't need to do anything with the cropping because we are adjusting the colors and let's say highlights and other things in our image so this is done for the first part then we have to go to the color section 
so this is it i will add a little bit of temperature first of all i will decrease the tint you can see when i will increase the tint toward pink side the image will look pink but i will decrease it because already there are some pink areas so i will decrease it up to 3 and let's say 5 i will increase the vibrance a little bit and saturation a little bit now this is not done we have to use the color mixer okay to uh, let's say change make changes to the hues saturation and the luminous so for reds i will decrease the luminous because you can see some portions are red okay uh, a little bit i will increase the saturation and uh, use something like this see here also this portion is not same for every images we need to change the hues uh, saturation and the luminous depending upon the type of image because it is not like uh, every time you will go under dark skies sometimes it may be possible that you have captured an image let's say under bottle 5 skies that is light portrait skies so you need to adjust it accordingly okay so don't fix to uh, any uh, uh, values that i am showing you over here you need to change it uh, depending upon image to image so then i will click on orange and i will increase the luminance a little bit a little bit of saturation and decrease uh, no I, I will like to increase the views okay then i will click on this yellows then i will increase a little bit okay use uh, saturation and decrease the luminance you can see some portions are green also a little bit so i will decrease the saturation for that and the luminance now here comes the main portion you can see that here we have the lagoon nebula this portion is the lagoon nebula but it is white currently so i want it to be pink because we know that the lagoon nebula is pink so i will go to the pink i will increase the saturation a little bit okay i will increase the hue and luminous when you will zoom out you will see that uh, yes some colors are getting added to the lagoon nebula and uh, to this purple i will decrease the saturation part and luminance also okay so this is it for the color mixer and then we will proceed with the next portion that is clarity and texture so this is also one of the main part because many beginners do this uh, mistake they they increase the clarity like this and then they decrease the dehaze i mean increase the dehaze so according to uh, their belief they think that this is good image but you can see that a lot of noise a lot of green is then in the image so we don't need to do it because our image is having much more data as compared to this okay so we don't need to over process it so uh, i will just make it to zero and then i will show you how to increase okay first i will increase the clarity you can see that as i am increasing the clarity step by step the image is getting brighter and the core is getting much better okay i will increase the dehaze to up to some portion not like this up to some value okay you have to increase it in such a way that it does not look like in your image that you have uh, done any changes to dehaze okay so like this and i will not increase the texture i will decrease the texture because some grains are also there you can see over here so when i will decrease it the graining image will turn to a good image you can see that the details are getting added okay when i will increase the let's say clarity and decrease the texture you can see you can clearly see that this was our original image and this is the current image now we will move to the sharpening area and i will increase the sharpening a little bit okay then after increasing the sharpening i will do the noise reduction because still some grain is there so i will adjust it at let's say 27 so after noise reduction you can see that uh, the core is getting much good but still sometimes what people do is like they will increase the noise reduction to an extreme level and you can see that the details are completely lost so it is not like we have to do the noise reduction extremely just gradually increase it just keep tapping on this noise reduction bar and it will increase you can see seven eight nine and then wait for a few seconds until it gets adjusted to the image okay so this looks good so i will not make any changes i will add some contrast let's say about uh, 16 and i will do the color noise reduction sometimes the color noise might be there so in my image it is there so i will increase it a little bit okay so this is how we have to process i mean post process the milky way image 
you can see that this was our original file and this is how we have reached again if you are seeing that uh, still some uh, details are missing then you can go back to the clarity section increase the clarity a little bit increase the dehaze a little bit okay and then decrease the noise let's say if you are thinking that noise is reduction is much then you have to decrease the noise let's say up to 6 or 7 and i will decrease the color noise also okay so this is good to go now you can see that uh, the image is completely post processed this was complete uh, that is the beginning portion this was before and this is the after portion so i will crop the final image okay to get a better image uh, better portions i mean to see. and then we have to click on this right so now you can see that our image is complete and if you can still say that the uh, image is having less details then you can increase uh, the temperature a little bit and the highlights a little bit okay oh sorry i made a blender okay so this is how and add a contrast so this is our final image you can clearly see okay the details the row of UG complex then the star clusters lagoon nebula and everything so this is how i generally process okay i have also saved some of the presets because uh, you know depending upon the type you have to use different settings so i have set uh, some of the presets and i have loaded them you can see that these are my presets depending upon the image so this is how you have to process i mean post process the stacked output of the raw image now we will see how we have to post process the uh, stacked output of the jpg image so this was it for the raw so let's switch to the jpg image so friends here you can see that i have opened the stacked output of the jpg files and now i will post process it. but you can see that compared to the raw files the details are less so we will not do over processing okay you have to keep in mind that for the stacking uh, i mean for the post processing of the stacked output of the jpg images we don't have to do over processing okay so now i will go to the curve section first of all and i will increase the lightness let's say somewhat like this not much because already the details are less so i will have to change it see uh, here also you can use two points method uh, i generally do it for my images if it is okay with one point then you can do it also i will increase the exposure a little bit a little bit of contrast and then highlights then i will increase the shadows a little bit uh, let's say like this i will increase the whites and uh, the blacks you can see if i decrease the black then the image will get worse so i will rather increase it a little bit okay again uh, you can see uh, by clicking on this that the image is getting good but still noise is there okay uh, in raw files the major point is that the actual data that is captured by the sensor is getting stored in raw files but in jpg the same data is in the compressed method so we have to deal with it so i will increase the temperature a little bit i will decrease the tint see i just decrease the tint by 20 and it becomes green so that is the problem with the jpg files that is the stacked output if you see that some pink color is also there so i will go to the color section color mixing i will decrease the luminance and also the saturation okay i will go to this purple i will also decrease saturation for greens also let's say like this and for yellow i will like to increase because we want some details orange uh, let's see this so this is done uh, i will increase the vibrance a little bit and saturation now we'll proceed with the clarity section again you can see yes in jpg you can uh, keep the clarity bar higher because we have to increase the details of the image unlike to the raw files where we already had the details so uh, this is how you have to do it i will not suggest you to increase the ds like this even though the details are much but still just keep it like this you can decrease the texture a little bit okay and then proceed with the sharpening a little bit of sharpening noise reduction color noise reduction and contrast and that's it so now we will crop the final uh, let's say uh, the image okay so i am cropping it 
you can still see that some portions of black region are also there so you can see that greens are also there this is much noisy okay this is noise so we have to decrease the noise so i will let's say increase the tint a little bit i will go to this section pink and then i will decrease saturation a little bit okay let's say okay and okay the image is getting bad so i will not increase the tint but i will rather let's say make some changes to this temperature section uh let's a little bit and then color mixer greens yes so this is how you have to do it i generally don't post the stacked output of the jpg file because i mostly prefer raw files so i will also suggest you to go with the raw files because you can see the difference in between the raw and jpg images although details are there but they are very less in the stacked output of jpg images so this is how we have to post process the raw files i mean the stacked output of raw files and jpg files using the lightroom application so i hope that you are now clear regarding it but still if you have any doubt then kindly comment in the comment section below or contact me on my instagram i have posted many such images of the uh, milky way like this on my account so you can see them and you can uh, also ask me if you have any doubt so thank you for watching this video and please share this video as much as possible and now i will also start the astrophotography series for beginners in the hindi okay so please stay tuned up to that thank you for watching